What's up guys, Daxer here, and I got a request to do a bit of a guide to show how to start up your own little server in Starbound. And just wanted to put a little disclaimer here, this requires you to give out your IP address to somebody, so make sure you know who the hell you're dealing with before you start giving out that kind of sensitive information. Those people can hack your stuff if you give them their, your IP address, so make sure that you, you know who exactly you're giving them to. Okay, so first off, you want to launch your Starbound, and you want to launch your server. but Prior to this, you should actually know what your IP address to your router is, because you need you need that information to connect to your own server. So what you want to do is go to your Start menu, type in CMD Charlie Michael David, and that's going to bring up your options here. And what you can do is you, you can hit Enter at this point, or you can actually click on CMD.exe at the top, and that's going to bring up your command console. In here, you want to type in IP config. And we're gonna we're looking for where it says IPv4 address, and it's gonna say something around the lines of 192.168.1.109. Now the 109 is mine. If yours is probably gonna be different. The 192.168 at the front is probably gonna be the exact same thing as mine, but chances are the last part of this is gonna be different. Write this down. You will need this to connect to your own server. So all right, we're gonna go ahead and launch the server. Which, I don't know why this takes like a full freaking minute to actually launch. Like, you literally have to sit here and wait for this thing to launch itself. I'm hopefully they'll fix that since Starbound currently is in beta. So hopefully that, that's something that they will fix in the future. But as of right now, it is bloody annoying. But it's actually going to work to our advantage, okay? Once you launch your Starbound, you're going to go to Multiplayer. And you're going to click on your character. And you're going to type in that lovely number you got a second ago. Just And once you type in there, you hit Join Server. Oh, wait, look at that. It failed. But there's actually useful information here. Notice where it says join failed and it gave you a big nice number. The same number you just typed in, but it also gives you a semicolon in the numbers 21025. That is actually the port that you need to forward to in order to get this to work. This is how I actually found this out, by the way, because this information is literally nowhere else but here. So, yeah, that information would have been nice somewhere else. Or at least a little bit of a heads up somewhere, you know? All right, so we're going to quit this because we need to start forwarding some ports. So I'm actually going to close this out, and let's go ahead and start forwarding said ports. Now, right off the bat, you need to know what router you have, okay? If you don't know what router you have, go ahead and go pick it up, go look at it, because you need to know this information. For me, for example, I have a, the lovely Linksys, okay? This guy, I want to say this is the latest model. Yours might not look like this. The older models look like a little box or something. They, they look closer to this guy, this little box, but this is my other router, by the way, and I'll explain why I have that one in a second, but all you're concerned about is your Linksys router, whatever router you have, flip it over, and it's going to give you this information right here. Now, you, there's a bunch of jibber-jabber here, don't even worry about it, all you really care about is the top left corner where it says model number, okay? Now, you're going to go, you're going to go here, this is portforwarding.com. This is going to help you forward your ports and give you a lot of guides on how to do that. On the left hand side, you're going to click on port forwarding guides, it's going to bring up pretty much every router known to man at least every model of router known to man and but since i have the links this i'm going to go ahead and click on the links this right here it's going to give me a nice little buddy ad and i got to find my model in which case i'm just going to hit control f here to bring up the search one two zero n and there we are now it's going to bring up a nice long list of games i'm just going to use terraria as an example when you click on your game here, it's actually going to give you the information that you need to actually go to this Linksys router and set it all up. Look at this, nice little pictures and everything. It even tells you what port it is. But here's the messed up part. Because Starbound is so new, Starbound is not actually in this list, which is why you need the port that we got earlier. Okay. So once you start following the information that the guide gives you, the guide's going to tell you to open up a, another tab or another web page and type in the default IP address, which, in, which for all Linksys routers is 192.168.1.1. And it's going to ask you for username and password. For Once again, for all Linksys routers, there's no username and the password is just admin. A-D-M-I-N. Just admin. Just go ahead and log in there. And you can ignore all of this jibber-jabber. I just go directly to application and gaming. And you're going to come to a screen that looks like this. Now, I have a lot of ports forwarded here, but the one you're concerned about, once again, is this one. This is the port that you need for Starbound. Right? You're going to type it in here for the external and the internal port. Just put them both in the exact same thing. Set the protocol to both. It, you can set it to TCP or UDP. Just do both. And 
the IP address you want to type in, once again, the same IP address that we got earlier. Once again, mine is 192.168.1.109. Yours is probably more than likely going to be different. All right, and you want to make sure, obviously, it's enabled. Then hit Save Settings, and that's it. You're done. Linksys is done, but here's the kicker. There are other types of routers. Like I said, the other router that I had shown a second ago, which is this guy. This guy is the lovely RCA, whatever the f*** this is. So we're going to go ahead and... Uh, once again, grab it, flip it over, get the model number, okay? Now, here's the fun part. My router is so, that RCA is so retarded that it's not actually in this list. The RCA brand is in here, I can type, and we click on that, and it's going to give me some sort of Thompson something, something, or I don't even know what this is, okay? It's, it's definitely not helping me. So, but if this is the case for you, you want to just go to Google, and you want to search for the following things, okay? First off, you want to find out what the default IP address is that you need to type into your, your web browser. For mine, it's 192.168.0.1. If you get a window like this where it's telling you that it doesn't know what it is, doesn't trust the security certificate, just don't even worry about it. This is the browser basically telling you that it cannot identify what you're going into, what, what basically what it's trying to connect to so it's going to warn you we're just going to go ahead and ignore the warning and what you also want to google for is the default username and password for your router in my case i lucked out the default username is blank for me and once again the default password is admin you can try that on yours it might be the same thing but there's, there's others where the username and the uh password are both admin it's it's weird but just just look it up and hopefully it'll be easy for you to find. But Google is always the answer to everything. All right. Now, once you're in here, you, you're basically looking for something that says port forwarding or forwarding ports or just forwarding or whatever. For me, it's in advanced and then forwarding. Okay. Now, I have a pretty unique situation going here. Notice this number is just dot .11 instead of dot .109. And what this is doing is my ISP is beautiful geniuses. And they gave me a router that is basically a router and a modem in one. And it's basically connecting from the ISP's router slash modem to my Linksys router, which gives me a, a kind of a double router setup. So since this one is the first one that the internet hits, then, this, then I have to forward from this from this router to the second router. And the way I got this IP address is if you go to, if I can go up to network and then go to computers. It's going to give me the IP address right here of that router. Chances are you'll never have to run into something like this. Most people don't have more than one router. They just have the modem and then the router. But my ISP is freaking weird. Hopefully some, hopefully this helps, helps somebody that's in the same situation as me. But oh well. Um, okay, so we're going to... So we're done forwarding ports. Remember, we went to advanced. Went to uh, forwarding. And we typed in the, the port to forward and the IP address. And once you hit apply on that, you're pretty much done. You can kill that. And then we can go right back to Starbound. All right. So once we go to Starbound, you're going to launch your server, yada, yada, yada. It's going to take a minute to actually log in here. But we're going to launch the game because this is something that can go around in the background. And once you launch the game, you're going to go ahead and hit multiplayer. And you're going to type in, the, once again, the same IP address that we got at the beginning of this tutorial right here. But your friends, however, need to get your IP address so they can connect to your computer. So what you're going to do at this point is give your friends, well, go. you're going to go to google.com and type in my IP address, okay? And that's immediately just going to give you, once you once you enter on that, it's going to immediately give you your IP address at the top there, whatever the hell that actually is. A warning, it can change. I've seen it to where your, your um, ISP will change your IP address maybe once a week or maybe once every two weeks or even once a month or maybe never. You might luck out on that on that one but it can change so if your friends have problems connecting to your server uh, that might be the cause the part the port forwarding thing is pretty much a done deal you set it and that's it and it will never change unless you change your router or if you reset your router back to default so that is a done deal but your IP address can change so once they type in your IP here they hit join server and once they hit join server it's going to connect to your stuff and that's pretty much it once they connect to you, you all can play. I will say, though, they can definitely start off in a different part of the galaxy. So once you're actually in the game, just ha either give them your X and Y coordinates down here or have them give you theirs and you can port to wherever they are. Basically, just... just I shouldn't say port, but you can fly there. Warp speed, sir. Anyway, all right, that is it for me. That Hopefully that helped somebody. My name's Daxter. Let me know what y'all thought in the comments below. Leave a like. Please subscribe, and I hope y'all have a good one. Peace.